Hey everyone, it's a beautiful day. A beautiful day to start the Bronco build. I made some room in the garage and I put the Bronco on the lift. And today we're gonna to start with the Rock Slide Engineering Step Sliders. Welcome to the Never Ending Weekend. Today we're gonna to install the step sliders. The first of a long list of things we're gonna to do to the Bronco. There are a lot of already great tutorials online on how to install the Rockslide Engineering Step Slider, so I'm not gonna go through it in detail, but I will stop and let you know if I run into any problems, and I'll let you know how long it took. My mechanical knowledge ability is probably less than average, so that'll give you a good idea on how long it would take for a normal guy to install the step sliders. So we'll get right into it and start unpacking the boxes and start the installation. Okay, let's dig in. Please read before installing. Some rubber trim, the installation guide, well package. Two door brackets. And the same thing for the passenger side. Just taking a break to say I hate fishing cable. They make it look so easy on the installation videos, but I managed to pull it through from the bottom. This, this cover for the um, fuse uh, got caught up in a few places. About to wire it up to the battery and then uh, onto cabling the rest of it. Okay, getting this wiring harness under the gas tank was not problematic, but I used the um, wire coat hanger as a fishing line uh, and that pulled in pretty good um, but now I'm loosening up these bolts these body bolts to put in these end brackets and I'm having a hard time fitting them in so just know that they're really snug and you might need a rubber mallet I've been on this for about half an hour now for some reason I can't get this washer to separate from the bolt and there doesn't seem to be anything above it so I don't know what's happening but yeah that's that Okay, I had a heck of a time getting these mounts on the body bolts again on this side of the Bronco. And a quick call to Rockside Engineering revealed that the reason the washer wasn't pushing up is the threads from the bolt holding it down. So instead of trying to shimmy this bracket in, I started rotating it, trying to use the threads to help get that washer up and that made it so much easier. This sticker actually saved me. One thing is this rubber strip that you have to put on to protect the Bronco. I didn't really know exactly what I was doing the first time, so it wasn't as um, as neat as the second time. So make sure it's sealed properly or put on properly before you install the step slider. Uh, just double check it. There's another problem. These bolts that hold the new rock rails to the pinch welds, they're uh, too deep to just use a ratcheting wrench, but they're too shallow to use the extension. So I guess I'm using a hand wrench and trying to do quarter turns or something. Okay, I'm doing the magnets now. There's something called VHB in the instructions. It comes with this yellow backing that you do to adhere the magnet to this piece of plastic. It's like a thin layer of glue, so you can't reposition it. So be careful when you put it on. Okay, so I'm finally finished, but I'm not even gonna tell you how long it took me. Uh, let's just say uh, it's a different day than I started. Originally, I was thinking of getting a different style of rock slider, but considering this has um, the step, it was kind of a no-brainer. Uh, the sensors were a little bit finicky uh, to match up, but uh, they work out fine. And it's solid. And I was kind of worried about how wide this was going to look on the Bronco, but it actually looks pretty good. Um, I got the optional door delete 
button. So if you press that, when you remove your door, they won't deploy and retract. I also got the optional LED light kit and that works pretty well as well. I'm not gonna lie, this uh, install kicked my butt. Um, so more respect to all the mechanics out there. I feel like the Bronco is bringing out a new audience to kind of do modifications at home. And um, in that respect, to all the people who are kind of new to this whole process like I am, I have a few things I realized while doing this project. Things will take longer than you expect. Uh, life gets in the way. You have to pick up the kids from somewhere. You have to walk the dog. Um, so this project took a lot longer than I was hoping for. Also, having all the right tools make a big difference and having them readily available. Uh, I found myself always going back and forth, looking for the right bit or um, forgetting where I place something. The work environment makes a big difference as well. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a lift, but uh, my garage is small and the Bronco is tall, so I could only raise it about three or four feet. And I had to crawl under a lot of times uh, because I forgot something or going back for another tool. What I did find out was what a mechanic stool is for. When I figured that out, that became a real back saver for me. Well, that's it for this install. Stay tuned for more modifications to the Bronco and I have other fun videos planned as well. So until next time, peace.